91.3 WVST. This is Soul Logistic Radio Show. Hannibal Smith and the Cool Kids holding it down. Got the Minister of Information, the straw that stirs the drink, the movie critic. Fat Tommy, what's popping, man? What's going on, Doug Evans? Peace to the universe, peace to the gods, peace to the earths. What's hey, happening, Mr. Evans? Hey, uh, have you get a have you had a chance to watch the Bismarck documentary on Showtime? I have, and you know what? That brings me right into mind with this because I think it deserves an Oscar. And guess what? The Oscar was named after the Oscar was named after Oscar Mitch Nukes, M I C H E A U X, a black man mm. who made a film. Wait, he made a film. Well, he wrote a he wrote a book, and Hollywood wanted to turn it into a film. And he said he wanted to produce it. They was like, "Well, you ain't never did no film, so you can't do it." So then he said, "Well, I give me my my book back." And he went <laughs> and produced his own movie, and uh, uh, it mm. became like the basis for all Hollywood films. Okay, never heard that. So they named it after a brother named Oscar. But now back to Biz, man. I say I say all of that about Oscar because Biz is film to me. I'm gonna give it uh, two black fists up. Um, I think it uh, was put together very well. I think the the way they shot it was cool. The um, even with the uh, uh, Muppet that was in there, I, I thought everything about it. You um, like that? A couple of people said that was kind of odd, but the more I I thought about it, is with the Master Ace record with the puppet. So I said, okay, she was doing something creative. I get it. I didn't get it, but I got it. But you know, it's creative. Being creative, I don't have a problem. Well, no, she she didn't want to use Biz in the hospital. In a, like, I ain't want to see Biz. Gotcha. Like for real, we. This man, we don't know what he looked like. Right. She wanted to That's keep true. our vision of Bismarcky alive. That's they true. had that man with, with tubes all in his nose and right. stuff, and he trying to he he wasn't a muppet with headphones on. You know what I'm saying? Like right. he, she was telling him to squeeze a ball, so you needed um, um, his character, and because he was such a character and such uh, an animated person, he was his whole life he was an animated figure in hip hop. So. The, the best way to me, the only other thing she could have did was a cartoon caricature of him, but I think the, the, I think the puppet was better. I think the Muppet was way better than, because it, remember, he also was on tour with that kid's show. Right. You um, know what? Thank you, Fat Tom. I didn't really look at it that way. I didn't look at it that way, but now you said that, that's you spot on, yeah. So that that's how I saw Biz. So in telling the story, that allowed Biz to kind of tell the story without telling the story. I think it captured the essence of Biz. Um, I think the people that spoke about him, you know, when you had the God, uh, Rakim speaking on him and, and Big Daddy Kane and all of them. And then the, the triumphs that he made and the stuff he did to people and the things that it showed how um, um, tight the entire hip hop community began this thing. And it brings us back to what really started this and how reach one, teach one. Reach down, pull a brother up. Yo, when mm. I get on, I'm putting you on. Yeah. And actually coming back and putting them on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It, it, it spoke to each one of us telling each other that, you know, maybe you ought not do that. There's a line, you know. Uh, uh, Master Ace, you know, you shouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? There were certain things that went on, that conversations that went on that don't take place anymore and that's that's what the whole community is lacking communication that's the key back then everybody was talking to everybody everybody was letting everybody know what was going on and what they was working on and everybody wanted everybody on their projects you know what i'm saying uh, uh and there was there was healthy competition too no i'm not trying to say that it was all kumbaya but it really was the the subculture was was um the culture was kumbaya the subculture was competition so when they look and and they, and they try to define us as a people by hip hop that's really not true the we as a, a culture people were always together and in unison mm. hip hop was just a facet of the music that this culture and generation produce that doesn't define us just like basketball that doesn't define us Allen Iverson changing basketball is not the definition of the, the, the black man hip hop is not the definition of the black man um, Dr. Umar Johnson is not the definition of the black man 
Put all those things together and then some, and you can closely begin to define what we are as a people to this universe. And that's really what it's about. Biz doing everything he did. He said, it's okay to be me. Yeah, I and also the foster home part, I never knew that. I never I never knew anything about he was in foster care. I was in foster care for a while. Uh like you said, and the ability to I'm gonna make it no matter what. Remember, I, I, I don't wanna give the whole uh document away, but uh, he's at Dougie Fresh How he's at, at Dougie Fresh yeah. House. <laughs> mm-hmm. He but reminded you know me of Kanye West a little bit, right? But he also had a, a foster kid uh attitude. You know, they get along with everybody. Foster kids, every foster kid I knew got along with everybody. Nobody disliked the foster kid. You know what I'm saying? Like they were always some happy uh people and he he every, I, we did him right here in petersburg okay so we did him right here in petersburg christmas eve he had dinner with me and mouse at mouse's house me and mouse had dinner with uh biz christmas eve when christmas eve he came mm. he spun um 45s for us we had him as a dj and he played 45s and, and it was a trip because um he was playing like um the Jeffersons, and he played Sanford and Son. He had all these obscure records, and Petersburg was like not understanding. So then Biz put a mic in front of the um, uh, uh, turntable and captured the hearts and minds of everybody in Petersburg. Like nobody was really dancing because he was putting on a show, but he was really walking us through the history of music. He was playing all these 45s that led up to hip hop records, and I mean, it ended up being a really dope. Uh, Christmas Eve. Thanks, Fat Tommy. Make sure you tune in to the Soul Logistic Radio Show every Saturday, 6 p.m. on The Source, 91.3 WVST. You can listen online. Use the Radio FX app or the tuning app. Download the app. Take us everywhere you go.